Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. It's that time of year again for our very limited once a year release whiskey to remind us of the holidays. That's right, you guessed it. It's a Midwinter Night's Dram by High West Distillery. So this year, 2022, we see Act 10. The latest edition this year for 2022. This is a scene one, so it means like first day of bottling, I guess. Um, is what that means. The scenes, I think, mean the days they were bottled or, or like kind of... It's all the same batch, so don't, don't feel that way. It's just like days they were bottled. You know, the words limited engagement are on here. And for those not familiar with a Midwinter Night's Dram, uh, this is a rye whiskey released by High West once a year around the holidays, finished in uh, port barrels. So that's kind of the gist of it. I will link it above uh, my review for last year's Act 9. It's actually one of the first videos on my channel, I believe. Um, well, it's in the beautiful High West bottle with that sparkling air bubbles in here the bottle looks good it's a real nice colored whiskey now what we have to talk about this year is a simple fact this went up in price so last year i think msrp was 90 here in pa they were 99.99 so we paid 100 dollars here in pa for them last year this year the price is 125 dollars for this bottle msrp so it's getting expensive a hundred felt a little pricey, and, and now, now it's one twenty-five. Uh, there also was a distillery only release this year, marking the tenth anniversary, uh, called the Encore. So, uh, Midwinter Night Stram, the Encore, which was finished in white port barrels, available at the distillery only, and that was a hundred and fifty doll hairs. Uh, obviously, I didn't go to Utah to uh, capture that limited release. Uh, no one sent me a sample, so unfortunately I probably won't be reviewing that for you. But kind of general consensus is it's not as good uh, as this one. So why, why pay the extra 25 Now, for my PA viewers, unfortunately not here in PA yet. So we're filming this kind of right before Thanksgiving. And uh, where is it? We don't see it anywhere in PA. Uh, but all surrounding states pretty much have it. So... Uh, if you're from Pennsylvania and you want to find it, head over to Maryland, New Jersey, Delaware, uh, any of those states have it. Um, but you might pay more for it because they're not a state-run liquor store, so be careful there. Now on the back, just a few notes before we dive into it here. It says, this is made to be savored. This limited release whiskey is a sumptu sumptuous marriage of rye whiskeys finished in port barrels. The rye forms a beautiful base of vanilla, caramel, cinnamon, while the port barrels provide notes of plum, dried fruits, and spice. Because this is more, you know, this is Bourbon Bill's channel and we provide more, uh, we are going to provide you an alternative to this, as well as compared to last year's. A midwinter Night Stram Act 10, Scene 1. I almost did forget, the proof on this year's is 49.3%. Compute, compute, 98.6 proof. Not quite 100, I would like to see 100. Alright, let's give it a nosing. I get, uh... The port influence, I get like a little bit of strawberry, red fruit, obviously, from the port flavor. I get some caramels. You know what, unfortunately, and, and I was a little bit worried about this, there is a little bit of a youth note peeking through on the nose, which is very, very disappointing in a $125 whiskey. Uh, not what should be there at all. But, I'll say overall, very porty. But I feel like the base whiskey is not the best blend they've ever done. Let's take a sip. 
Okay. I'll tell you a big pop of that port. Little hint of bourbon. It's like I'm drinking a port nearly. Uh, good baking spice on the back end. So a lot of like red fruit port flavor up front. And then you get a little bit like, like the caramel and vanilla from the bourbon. Well, not bourbon, rye. You get a little bit of caramel and vanilla from the rye. And then just a, a good load of baking spices. Again, very similar. Just a very heavy port influence. If you weren't expecting that, that's what it is. I did get a little bit of the graininess and the youth on the back end of that of that second sip. So, what's my grade? C minus. C minus. I know that's hard to swallow. Uh, everyone looks forward to getting one of these for Thanksgiving or Christmas, or the holidays with your family, friends, whatever. Um, at one hundred and twenty-five dollars, this is a hard pass. Um, if you want to get it for the nostalgia purposes, you're not going to be totally disappointed. Um, it's not that the whiskey's horrible, but it's a little bit grainy and youthy on the back end, and it's just like very heavy port. So it's almost like go buy a bottle of port and pour a little like wild turkey in there or something like that. Wild turkey rye. <laughs> Maybe we'll get something close. Um, I just, I think it's worse than last year's, but... But here we go in the mini, it's all I had left. Act 9, I forget the scene, uh, if you watch my video I linked above earlier, you'll know it's that same bottle. Act 9 from last year. Way more like strawberry, almost like a rhubarb, uh, the nose is punchier. More rye spice coming through in the nose, let's take a sip. Oh, last year was way better. Um, Way more complexity, good rye flavors that peaked and flowed. The port blended in beautifully. Last year's was twenty-five dollars less and and a, and a lot better. Longer finish, um, more of that rye spice, more of the caramel. The port, the the port came across as like the red fruits, which blended in perfectly. This year's is far more port heavy, and I'll dare say less complex, with kind of more of that graininess in the background that I didn't quite get from the 9. It's not going to totally disappoint you, but if you really liked last year's, I think it's a step in the wrong direction from last year. Now you might say, Bourbon Bill, this is, uh, you know, not what I wanted to hear. I know, I know. What could I get instead? Probably one of the best ryes to come out this year. Sagamore Spirits Sherry Finish Rye coming in at a much better 106 proof compute compute 53% alcohol by volume. Recent release just released a few weeks ago from Sagamore Spirits all over Maryland, New Jersey, Delaware. Is it available in PA? No, it's not. Sadly, take a trip. Uh, PA does offer like the base Sagamore and pretty much nothing else. Uh, unfortunately. Now, this one here is finished in PX Sherry Barrels. And on the back we find out that it is a four-year-old straight rye whiskey that spent a year and a half in 132 gallon PX Sherry Barrels. Now we do get some tasting notes here that says velvety notes of toasted almond, dried fig, and soft spice. Balances the bouquet of dried fruit and honey left in the PX Sherry. Well, well, well. Somewhat familiar with uh, some tasting notes we just had. Now, I know that's port and this is sherry, but, you know, similar enough. Now, the price on this bad boy ranges anywhere from $69.99 to $80, so $70 to $80. Um, if you call it $70, it, you know, it's not quite more than half so so this is al almost half price uh, to what you might find the midwinter night stram for so half price just how how does it taste color darker we like that right off the bat let's give it a nosing oh 
Oh my god. The nose is just elevating me to new experiences. You get the rye spice. I get chocolate. I get like a chocolate coconut. I get toasted notes. I get like a marshmallow graham cracker on this. Tons of red berries and fruits galore. The nose on this, easily twice as good as the Midwinter Night Strand. Oh, I could smell that all night long. Let's take a sip. Midwinter Night Strand, you should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed. This is easily three times as good on the palate. Velvety smooth. Velvety smooth on the palate, viscous, the just delicious notes of the sherry, red fruits abound, toasted almonds, coconuts, just like it said, figs, it's all there. The rye spice, the 106 proof point is so much better. It, I'm sorry, if you're out hunting Midwinter Night Strand because you, you used to like the flavor or whatever, just put that one back on the shelf and pick up the Sagamore sh Sherry finish right here. Um... I'm getting to be like somewhat of a Sagamore fanboy, I know, if you watch some of these videos, but what an absolute gem of a bottle. A gem. And if you don't believe me, you can watch pretty much the rest of the Whiskey Tube community agrees that the Sagamore Sherry Finish, one of the best rides this year, period, at any price point. Um, at this point, I gotta say, you know, penny, per, penny for penny? And pound for pound, uh, Sagamore Spirits is unstoppable in the rye game this year. Really is. Pricing, very reasonable for what you're getting here. Uh, how old is the Midwinter Night Stram? Oh, what's that? Nothing. Didn't say on the bottle. We have no idea. No idea. Because they're mixing in some of that younger distillate uh, from High West. So, man, I gotta say, if you really want a Midwinter's, go ahead. It's not, it's not utterly disappointing. You're not going to be like... You know, real hard on yourself. Uh, it's not as good as last year's, and honestly, this is better than last year's and this year's. So, if you're in it for the drinking it, and you want to share it with people that enjoy whiskey, Sagamore Sherry is where it's at, everybody. And just when you thought it was over, we're back. So, if you're sitting there saying, you know, Bourbon Bill's confusing sherry with port, and you know, I just, I love me some port. I'm not sure about that sherry sagamore that he was pushing hard on me. And you want a nice port finished, you know, whiskey of some sort for your holidays. Still skip the Midwinter Night Stram and get this instead. Angel's Envy Store Pick Cast Strength. So, Angel's Envy is releasing a cash strength every year. They release one cash strength. It's a limited edition every year. I didn't get 2022s. It's like $230. Probably won't be getting it uh, for that. But big shout out here to Banash Liquors in New Jersey for this excellent store pick at 110 proof. That's one of the highest store picks I've ever seen. Um, for the old Angel's Envy. Usually they're lower, like 101, 103 in that range. 110, uh, 90 doll hairs, by the way. So still cheaper than Midwinter Night Stram. Now, similar to Midwinter Night Stram, this is finished in port barrels, so we can have no mistake there. No age statement, but we do get this fancy Angel Wing medallion. And you know what are you can do with that? Necklace. Gift for the wife or girlfriend this year comes with a bottle. Holy heck, they're he they're helping you with your Christmas shopping, no less. So I poured that here in this mini. Let's give it a nosing. Oh my god, it instantly better than the Midwinter Night Stram. Now I know that that's a rye and, and this is a bourbon, I know, but we're now going with the port finish for you here. The bright red fruits, the bourbon is just like maple, maple sweet. Do you get brown sugar, caramel? 
I get like a hint of maple in this even, and then just a red fruit from the ports. Smells delicious. Let's take a sip. Wow. It's just like a bowl of red fruit drizzled in caramel and brown sugar. Delicious. Good amount of finish and heat. That's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Uh, find a good store. Pick on one of these. Probably just as hard to find as Midwinter Night's Dram. You can probably it's, you can probably find these. Not in Pennsylvania, sorry. But uh, pretty much any other state. So if you live near a Benash Liquors, go ahead and pick one up there. They have plenty. Gosh. I mean... Th that really is the downfall of Midwinter Night Strand this year. 2022 is uh, is on the downward slope. I hope I hope they turn around for 2023, but this beats it easily. The rating on this A, it's an A rating. It's very good. Um, price is still high, but still cheaper than Midwinter Night Strand. Can't complain at all. Delicious bourbon, finished in port. Cheers to you, and have a great evening, everybody.